Hello, today I learned about Marlon Brando's very surprising final film role. You of course will know Marlon Brando from films like A Streetcar Named Desire, The Wild One, On the Waterfront, Godfather, Mutiny on the Bounty, Apocalypse Now. But his final role was very different. For one, it was in an animated film. But before I tell you about Marlon, here are some other huge stars whose final role was voicing a cartoon. James Stewart, who of course you know from It's a Wonderful Life, also in Hitchcock movies like Vertigo, Rope, Rear Window, also in loads and loads of cowboy movies. And so fittingly, his final role was playing Wiley Burp in Fievel Goes West. I think one day you'll find that you're the hero you've been looking for. Don Rickles, the comedian who was very famous for his insulting sense of humour and his friendship with the Rat Pack. His final role was playing Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story 3. You would not believe what I've been through tonight. Paul Newman, famous not only for his salad dressing, also for films like The Hustler, The Sting, Cool Hand Luke, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. His final role was voicing Doc Hudson in Cars. There was a lot left in me. I never got a chance to show him. Orson Welles, still probably best known as the writer, director and star of Citizen Kane. His final role was playing a planet-munching robot called Unicron in the Transformers movie. I am Unicron. And now to Marlon Brando. He was offered the role of Nick Dunderbeck in a film called Big Bug Man. But Marlon thought, no, I'd rather play the old lady, Mrs. Sauer, the famously eccentric star dressed up as Mrs. Sauer to voice it, wearing a wig, a dress and full makeup in the recording booth at home. Now the film has still not been released, but we do have this snippet of Marlon's final performance. I'm somewhere over the rainbow right now. <laughs> he died the month after recording that in 2004. And that is something I learned today. I will have another one for you tomorrow. Thank you very much.